Ambition's really, to me what it means is that you are like basically coming against your fears and then you're extending the kinds of things that you, you know, into areas that you wouldn't normally go. That's really what it is to be ambitious. It's not to make money, it's not to get something at the end of it, it's just to really challenge yourself and to see how far you can kind of, you know, push push yourself and push your dreams. So like, I guess it's, it's about leaning over the edge. It's about, um, you know, coming up to something which makes you afraid, but then being able to sort of take the courage, hold your breath and keep moving uh, and then see what happens. And uh, I think, you know, as a general principle, it's kind of, um, yeah, that's, that's what it means for me and that's what I try to kind of stick to as well, really kind of, yeah, lean over the edge, challenge your fears and keep moving. Okay, so by that definition, are you ambitious? Um, yeah, I think I'm, that's, that's generally what I try to do is, um, I mean, I've, I've kind of got a, I guess it, it's also that you take a lot of risk as well. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, you can kind of logically measure what kind of a, how risky something is, but then you might, you might like, you know, don't, you don't really feel like pushing yourself that far. Um, and I, I try to sort of recognize when I'm, you know, when I'm approaching that, you know, something that, you know, I think is a limit for mine. And then I look to see if I can kind of, you know, what is, what is leaning over the edge there? How, how far can I go uh, and be comfortable with it? Um, and sometimes I'm comfortable, but yeah, I'd say that I'm ambitious by my own definition of it. Right. So do you have any strategies for when you get close to that edge for not walking away? Yeah. So... <laughs> There's like what I call the personal action boundaries. So it's the boundaries that people sort of have set up for themselves uh, that they don't uh, they don't ever sort of come against. So the thing is to sort of recognize what you really want to do. This is for me, right? I recognize what you really want to do, what I really want to do. And then rather than sort of kind of glance alongside my boundaries, sometimes, you know, consciously I sort of turn and sort of face it and think, all right, you know, like I remember a really big step was when I when we came took the family from New Zealand and brought everyone to London and we had you know little money it ended up being the start of the financial crisis and it was a real like disaster really um, the whole thing was a disaster but I kept on sort of pushing and you know it, it's it's like what happens is you kind of have to feel the fear and then you move through it you don't like let yourself become obsessed by all the things that could potentially happen because at the end of the day you just don't know until you take the first step and I think that that's really important you know take the first step and then take it from there and if you just use that um, it seems to be that you know everything works out